We are covering Colorado first on CBS News Colorado at 6. Happy New Year. I'm Michael Spencer. And I'm Karen Lee. A man who struck and killed a teenager with his car and then took off will spend a decade behind bars. Brandon Monroe pled guilty to vehicular homicide DUI. Arrest documents show that Monroe admitted to being under the influence when he hit 16-year-old Carolyn Kincaid in the crosswalk near an elementary school. He was on probation for a previous DUI at that time. CBS Colorado investigator Brian Moss spoke to Carolyn's family about their daughter's legacy. It was last April when 16-year-old Carolyn Kincaid was walking in this area crossing the street when she was struck and killed by a hit-and-run driver. Now that driver has pleaded guilty to one felony count in the case and is scheduled to spend about a decade behind bars. But Carolyn Kincaid's family says that's not nearly enough. This is how they remember her, <laughs> always laughing. But Carolyn Kincaid's laughter died eight months ago. I sit here day and night waiting for her to come home. I sit on the couch and I stare out the door waiting for her to walk by, praying, it, still praying it, that it did never happen. All these months later, there are still reminders of where Brandon Monroe's car hit the teen before he fled the scene. Last Friday, Monroe took a plea bargain and began serving a year in county jail and another 10 years in state prison for Kincaid's death. Carolyn's older sister, Avalon. It's nice to know that he's off of the streets and out of communities and he can't hurt anybody, hurt anybody else. Um, but he's not even getting the amount of time that Kara had lived. So for me, it doesn't feel like enough. Monroe wrote the family this letter recently, apologizing for what he did and calling his actions greedy. The words sound hollow to those left behind. I read his apology letter and I don't forgive him because the person he hurt the most ain't here to give him any apology or to accept his apology because he took her life. For us, it doesn't bring us any kind of closure or healing. The only solace for Carolyn's family, these speed bumps that dot the neighborhood where she died, dozens installed after her death around schools in Commerce City and Adams County to get drivers to slow down. Every time I go over a speed bump, I think of my daughter. To take somebody's life like that is just so unfair to her and us, the family. We hardly got any time with her, it feels like. Monroe's lawyer called what happened here a horrific tragedy for the Kincaid family and also for the family of Brandon Monroe. In Commerce City, I'm Brian Moss, covering Colorado First.